All right, ESR, 3D Speed Series back at Imola. Just got in a decent qualifying lap, uh, but uh, not a great spot on the grid. I think I'm 14th or so. How much uh, fuel are you guys taking for the AMG? Sir, sir, why would we tell you this? You are a competitor. <laughs> ah, true. It should be about three liters a lap. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. If you see me on track, I would uh, try and avoid me tonight. <laughs> Paul claims he's going to have a bad race. Try to avoid you every night, pal. That's <laughs> very good thing to die. <laughs> Uh, 15th, actually. So I got dropped a spot, it looks like. Who's that behind me? Oh, that's Douglas. Okay. Douglas is here. The uh, the GP uh, Trailblazers team has uh, dropped their, well, team and uh, both changed cars. So, that'll be interesting. There should be an Audi R8 driven by Josiah Jerome somewhere around here as well. So that'll be fun. Uh, a little bit on the margins for fuel on this one. That's going to be interesting. Ooh. Always very deadly here at Imola at the first corner. Whoa! Contact between a... Uh, I'm sorry. I think that's a Gelly. And... Mm, Chacon, I would guess. Could also have been Guillermo Martinez, but I think he's much further to the front. Probably won't look great. Rick Martel on my tail. Francis Balland ahead of me. I have not had a lot of uh, uh, opportunity to race against Mr. Francis. So looking forward to that. around this death trap of a track. <laughs> uh, in all fairness, I actually, I actually really enjoy Imola's challenge. Um, I'm wretched, actually, at driving this track. Uh, though one of my better ESR results actually was here. Um, a class podium back in the uh, Invitational Multiclass Series. Of course, it was with no Div 1 drivers, or at least at the time Div 1 drivers. Some of them are now. Um on the track because we uh, we had so many people that we divided the server into a div 1 server and then a div 2 3 server so you know it was a little a little weaker there but still I mean I was a div 3 driver back in the day and uh, that was a highlight of my career up until that point frankly I don't really want to break there but because of Francis and Simeon kind of Sorry, Johnny. wobbling, I went with the discretion is the better part of Valor on that one. Variante Villeneuve, of course. A uh, Canadian favorite. Oh, it's Jill's, not Jack. Of course, this, this track is basically Ferrari's playhouse. And can I get up the inside of Francis? Yes! Down to third gear! And got it done. Nice. See if Rick Martin Hell, can put a little pressure on Francis. One spot out of the reverse grid pull right now. Plenty of time to go. Season finishes up next week at Monza. That'll be fun. And then after that, um, it might be time to go away from race room with this series because... Sorry, Paul. Those who do not know, um, Wednesdays has kind of become like race room's um, update day. So as a result of that um we have a general problem of well you know we're a wednesday series and instead of you know being able to race without incident we 
you know, get an update dropped on us, and sometimes the server just flat out doesn't work. And that's always less than ideal. Also, we're largely GT3. Oh, who's that? That is Paul Riccobeni. In a self-fulfilling prophecy. Alright, Francis is still on my... Oh, Francis went wide. It's going to let Rick Martell past. And I feel a little bit more comfortable with Rick back there. He's a more uh, known commodity. I've raced against Rick more than... I want to say anyone in this field. Uh, so I know him. I feel really comfortable with him. And on this track, comfort is kind of everything. All right, so I like I like the fuel projection I'm getting now. That feels way better. Four point eight extra. Kind of fucked up there. Got a little bit too close to Paul. Surprised that it's still giving me a lap time, to be honest. Interesting. It's better. Although, qualifying was in the 44s. Tires are really cold, though. Which is concerning. I mean, I guess... I guess, to be honest, they're actually not that much colder. It's just that they're blue now in a lot of areas. Whereas they were, like, light green. So it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's, like, it's only actually a few degrees. Oh, Paul! Problems for Rick Benny. Alright, on to the tale of Simeon Naku. Oh, Paul, don't leave! Uh boo. That's a rage quit. Wonder what the problem is. Anyways, we're pondering a move to another sim with this series. Uh, I was going to say, the GT3 changes have not altogether been um, positive to the player base. Now, I don't particularly like them, for example. Not able to stay with Ayrton and Simeon by the looks of it. So... Nice try, though. Just kind of looking back. The car is in the rear. Oh, except Liam has fallen into my clutches. Now this would be better, big, of course. Liam is one of the one of the top runners in the AM category in this series. He's been on a he's been on a real roll lately. Really, like ridiculously good round at Red Bull Ring. If you remember that video, so if I can get past him, that would be a big, big deal. Looking ahead, who else in the AM category is ahead of me? Uh, that'd be Ayrton. Is the only one I can see actually. So, in theory, I am in third place in the AM category. That's not bad. Depends if there's anyone kind of out of position, though, to be honest. As there often is. This season's been kind of, like, highlighted by randomly... Well, not, I don't know if I want to say randomly, but, like, really good AM runs that seem kind of out of place. So, let's see if the standings go by. 
Martinez, a Tony. Oh, Cole McRae. Well, there you go. Cole McRae is uh, is an AM driver, so it's actually Cole winning. So I'm in fourth. ACC commentary team running 1-2 in the AM category. Congratulations, boys. If you've not checked out their work over on the ESR channel, I recommend you do, although... Um, I kind of doubt that you're here and not there, so... <laughs> Probably a, a pointless plug, but it's a thought that counts. I have not managed to get a single decent first sector in. Which, of course, has led to a general lack of good laps. Don't always shift down into third gear there. Fourth gear seems faster, but also feels a little bit unstable. So, if the car starts feeling a little bit off, I uh, drop it down to try to save it a little bit. Through Aqua Minerale and into Varianta Alta. That is an absolute car breaker there. Josiah Jerome coming up from behind. That's a threat. Josiah is one of the fastest drivers in the series. I'm keeping with Liam, but I'm losing ground to Rick. So Rick's pulling in some decent, some very good laps, actually, I would say. Or, well, not really, because actually, <laughs> as I come across the line here, this is probably still going to be a 145 something. Yeah, 140. Okay, 145 2. Okay, that's not ridiculously bad. It's at least within a second of what I qualified on. course with the fuel differential you'll always should always qualify faster than you run in the race <sighs> because your car is heavier and at least at this racetrack honestly it seems like the longer you run the uh the less grip the tires actually have and i don't mean like that, that in a wear sense i just mean in a Seems like I'm losing a little bit of tire pressure or tire temp, which is leading to a. Anyways, taking a bit of a conservative line here. Just want to avoid making a mistake. Because it's very easy to do here. You can see how how many curbs there are on this track. Like, next to the side of the track, you got the, most notably, these big ones here, which will break the car pretty easily. And that runoff area there, which I foolishly just went over. Didn't seem to be overly damaging in practice. Oh, that is Cole McRae off! I recognize that Falcon BMW, and it's Tobin! Okay, I didn't really want to overtake you there, Ayrton. That's that is of course the big problem with these uh with a lot of what we got here is um if you go off the track, the tires just get ridiculously dirty with the current um with the current physics. And that's part of that's one of the things I don't like because it feels very unrealistic. Um those who don't know, I have driven uh, race cars around certain Canadian and American racetracks. So, while I can't, you know, claim any, like, high degree pedigree, you know, I have had an experience of racing, you know, uh, taking race tires over the grass because I have fucked up. And it's, it's not pleasant. I want to make that 100% clear. But it also... It, 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 do, it, it doesn't seem like race room replicates the feeling all that well. It seems like it is uh, notably notably worse than it is in real life. And that makes uh, racing really problematic. By the way, that was the top two AM cars going off. So Liam's inherited the lead. I've inherited second place. And Rick's on the podium now. So that's cool. 
so I'd like to hold that off. We've got Mike Jeffries behind us as well now. Interesting. Not sure how he got there, actually. So we only pick, we picked up two spots. That was Ayrton. So he must have come and overtaken Josiah. Interesting. Not sure where he's come from. Approaching the halfway mark of the race. Fuel is a little... A little clenchy, but uh, it'll do. It's kind of in that if I end up getting like that extra lap area, I'm going to be in trouble. My only hope is that um, everyone else kind of ends up in that same area and starts to have to lift a coast, but we'll see. Not something I'm going to worry about right now. Hoping Rick Martell can do me a solid and hold off Jeffries and Josiah Jerome, because they're pro drivers. And, uh, well, let's just say, I mean, there's a reason. There's a pro and an am distinction. Doing an okay job of keeping up with Curtin and Martinez, who are, at least lately, Liam's been... Liam's been ripping it up, and not just in this series. He's been doing super well. Um, of course, an Academy... Recent Academy graduate, which I have to pimp a lot less now that it is not going to have another semester. <laughs> but, uh... Was a fun... Oh... oh that, okay, that's uh, Juan Ramos... He's, uh, back in the pack. Juan's a developing driver. Hopefully he... You know, the goal is just to take one step at a time if you're in his position. Find a little bit of speed, a little bit more consistency. And, of course, this track is, uh often not the place to do it, and if I'm being honest, I don't think the Porsche is the car to do it in. Although I do really like that Black Falcon Porsche he's driving, so, you know, there is that. Had a whole speech about that on Wednesday, or on Sunday series, about how um, Porsches are like this kind of super oddity car that really isn't like anything else. And as a result, it is just... It's not the car that I'd advise anyone who's new to sim racing or new to a game, like if you're coming into race room for the first time or ACC for the first time, it's uh, not the car I'd recommend. Is all. It's not that I think like you know. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna focus. Put my head down here. Thank you. Making a, making a couple of mistakes while talking about something that's not overly important. It's allowed Rick right back up on my butt, and he's bringing Mike Jeffries with him. And, oh, that was Josiah in the background going around. Not good for him. Oh, you know what it was? I overtook Jeffries and not Cole McRae. Okay, that's what it is. I don't know why I overthought, thought I overtook Cole, but... Uh, he's still up ahead of me in seventh place. I mean, I shouldn't say I don't know why, because I know why. He was involved in a big accident. But, uh, managed to rejoin ahead. We'll have to see if that gets reported. I kind of might look at it myself, because I'm kind of... I'm kind of wondering about his rejoin, to be honest. Sorry. Is that Mike Jeffries apologizing to Rick Martell?
I'm actually quite rubbish at telling people's voices apart. So it's... I keep going too deep into uh, Variante Alta. And it is costing me big time. I don't have a good uh, breaking marker for that turn, I think is the problem. Um, I'm breaking kind of like halfway between two markers, and that's always a little bit less than ideal. Still at a decent lap, though. But Jeffries is probably a lot quicker than me, so... He is a pro driver without ballast. So. Should be up to kick me in the butt. Oh, made a mistake there. I know the VIP guys, which is Mike Jeffries and Johnny Major. Um, they did perform really well in qualifying. And I think Johnny's up still near the front. Let's see here. I can't see him. Is he on the podium? Anyways. And Mike Jeffries obviously was doing quite well before his contact. But I also know they were heavily complaining about their car stability. So, here's... Uh, Fingers crossed, hoping. Not for anything like huge, but you know, a couple of minor mistakes. <laughs> Over these last nine minutes. Look at the fuel, still, still in a bit of a uncomfortable zone, but it's, 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 should be good. Good overtake by Jeffries. Just me or is he, or was he much quicker in a straightaway than me, which is a bit weird. Unless he's just getting off of Ravatsa way better than me. I, mean, I guess that's probably the case. <laughs> we'll see. I know the third sector is not been kind to me. I got Tobin coming up behind me too. That's a big problem. So... Hopefully we can gobble up some slipstream from Jeffries. Go a little slow. Oh, it's Liam Curtin, I think. And Guillermo Martinez again. Bits. Of course, that yellow flag did not help me out because I didn't actually overtake anybody. And because it was more in my vicinity, and if you're getting yellow at Aqua Minerale, you gotta probably make the, the biggest slowdown because it's all blind through there to be safe. That probably played, uh, lost me a lot of ground to Air to Tobin, who is coming on strong. See what happens between Jeffries and Curtin. Kind of a repeat of what Jeffries did to me, actually. Whoa, Tobin way off in the background. That means it's back to Rick Martell chasing me.
you can see what I mean if you had a yellow flag and you went through there like normal. There'd be a reasonably high chance of contact as opposed to like going into Ravatsa where uh, you can see everything. Oh, John Peach up into 14th. Good to see him. Of course, an ACT teammate of mine. My teammate here is Wayne Hutchison, who's having, I want to say, his best day of the entire season. Sixth place. Go, Wayne. You the man. Still haven't put together a decent lap, to be honest. Or, well, some decent laps, I should say. Some laps that I'm not unhappy with. I'm just unhappy with them being my fastest. I would have liked to at least have gotten into the, the high 44s. Gotta wonder how healthy Liam Curtin's car is having had at least two big moments. Uh, Rick has been dumped by Tyler Agelli. That's a guy who started the season really, really well. Was very much a, a major focal point of Zanvort, or uh, Portabound Zanvort. But Hockenheim and Red Bull Ring were not kind to him. Are you kidding me? Johnny Major getting into something. Stop Mills to tell you I was Come on, Ramos. Ramos off again. Or Ramos. All night it's been like that. I mean I don't know. I'd have to see if he's doing something. I've always said it. I don't get mad at drivers for being untalented or slow. Or unable to... To race. Because, you know, I was there. And all of us at some point were there. But right now, I'm going to save the defend the newbie speech for focusing on defending against Tyler Gilly. I think I can finally breathe a sigh of relief on the fuel. Carter Milton, newcomer to the series. Just got like fully signed up, maybe like 10 minutes before the server went live. So needless to say, probably, probably struggling a fair bit. Sorry, Dan. Damn it. I really wish he hadn't done that. I actually really shook there. So this is maybe last lap here. Um, I do not feel bad about that at all. That was Tyler going for an overtake with a yellow flag out. That's not cool. Guillermo. 
Not really who I would have liked, because Guillermo's a pro. I would have loved that if that was like one of the higher going AM drivers who had gone off. The kinda, fuck was that? Kind of like Tobin going off there. Or no, that's Dan Bach. I am uh, so sorry, Michael, about that. Earlier. Well, you took yourself out, so I think the apology is right there. <laughs> I am none the worse for the wear. I can blame my mom. I'm a little annoyed that he was lining up for a yellow flag overtake after all the speeches I've given. So we'll get one more lap after this. Got the fuel. I wonder if everyone else does, to be honest. Because I tend to be one of the more conservative fuel guys in the field. I just don't, I just don't worry about it. Like, I don't want a ridiculous amount of fuel left over, but... The number of times I've lectured people about having enough fuel, like, it would be incredibly stupid for me to run out of fuel. It'd look incredibly bad, so... Cross your fingers. <laughs> Where am I in terms of the AM standings? I think I'm just third place behind Cole and Liam. Because, yeah, the top two are Stop Mill and Zatoni, who are pros. Mike Jeffries up ahead with, uh... Problems? So, barring fuck-ups and fuel, ninth place. Not bad. I think this is my second best feature result of the season. I think Red Bull Ring was better. But, of course, Zanvoort, Hockenheim were were nightmares. And uh, Portimao was just kind of okay. Zanvoort was actually remarkably on the pace, which is stunning when you consider that I hate that track. It's coming up in the ACC series in two weeks' time. Or, well, less than two weeks, but two Sundays from now. One left. A little bit of frustration, maybe. Good result in race one, considering not a lot of pace was in the was in the bag. So I will I will take that uh, to the bank. Podium in the AM category and a top ten in the actual race. Very nice and a very good day for Wayne Hutchison as well. I owe Shakon an apology too. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I was fighting for people second still, and got hit by the same back still, twice. People are still racing. Sorry. Okay, now you may talk. Yeah, Sorry I was fighting to catch second place and I got hit by the same back marker twice in one turn. Then report him and move on, sir. Report him. Finished 28th. Still draws attention to it. Gives him the chance to possibly learn. Alrighty. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Calling. Oh, we'll, let's go with 30. Probably too much. But I do want to be sure. So, that'd be, what, 10 laps, apparently? We're calling for 9. Looks like we should be good. Alright, let's go. Starting pretty high up in the grid here. I think 4th. Interestingly, though, Dan Bach and Guillermo Martinez front row is uh, a bit faster than we usually see in these races. You usually see some AMs up front, but... Uh, which, I mean, we have AMs up front, me and Rick Martell on row two, but, uh...
want to say this is... Oh, 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 Liam. Okay. Oh, that was fine. That was fine. I broke a little bit early. Left myself exposed, and he got the job done. It was okay. I was going to say, though, I th wonder if this is the first time we've had a reverse grid with two uh, pro drivers at the front. It's not started well. Overtook Rick Martell, who's a, kind of a little bit legendary for not being super great at starts. And, uh... Oh. Okay. But lost out to Jeffries and Kurt. Martell alongside me. Cole McRae in the mix as well. I would really not want to go side by side through Varianti Alta, though. All right. Ooh. There's my teammate Wayne actually coming through as well. Remember when I said I was like really comfortable racing against Rick? Might have to reevaluate that after that side by side through Varianti Alta. But uh, you know what? He did it clean. So, a round of applause to him if I could take my wheels off this, my hands off the steering wheel. <laughs> Not a good start, though, for me. One of my worst first laps of all time, I'd have to, I'd have to say. That didn't end in like a you know a serious crash or anything. Coal is fl oh don't spin thank you. Coal is flying today. Need to hold back Simeon Naku, although for team standings. Although flashbacks are always here whenever Simeon's behind me. Just a couple of bad experiences. Love Simeon. But uh, for whatever reason, the fates have not been kind every time we've ended up racing each other. Probably not every time, but like some distinct moments. Like, uh, mid-Ohio that one season where I got punted out of the lead and then, like, Zambort earlier this season. It's just, like, random happenstance. I, I don't think he's, I don't think he, I don't think it has anything to do with him as a driver. Just, it's just a thing. Lost Tobin and somebody else. Could be a technological failure or uh, could be a rage quit. Of course, having a one big incident in this race is a problem. You can kind of grit your teeth and grind grind through it in uh, in race in race one because there's a second race to welcome you and it's a bit longer. But this one's 15 minutes long and there's there's nothing after it. surprising thing is I don't see Mike stop mill anywhere the race one winner I'd like to get back up with uh, Martel I mean a he's a rival B he's a guy I to be honest, think I can probably beat. Although, just a thought here. Notably, 
the BMW crew is doing really well here today, so... I wouldn't have thought the M6 would be an Imola specialist car or anything, but... Uh, he's going for it down the inside. I broke too early there. That was stupid. I admit, I forgot where I was on the track. Mm. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. I mean, my only hope now is that Simi can get up there and create some havoc. With Rick and Cole. Because he is a pro driver. So I'm not worried about that fight. Uh, honestly, if Wayne wants to try and get through here, I'm probably going to let him. Stop those back in 14th. Interesting. Admittedly, he has a ridiculous amount of weight on him at this point. I, mean, I should let Wayne through just because he's probably faster than me. He's not. It's not like he has a championship. Uh, not like we have a Michael Schumacher, Rubens Barrichello deal here where he's going for like a big title. In fact, I'm. I'm probably the more likely of the two of us to bring home any hardware. But um, in the AM class. But uh, at the same time, I'm not helped by holding him off. I think I'm ahead of him in the actual standings, though. So. I'm gonna worry about it too much. If he if he goes for a move, I'm gonna let him. But he's got to get close enough to to think he's got a move there, I guess. I was gonna say, is Rick blasted away from Cole, or am I? Oh. Okay, well, I didn't intentionally do that, but it will let Wayne through. Was that intentional, Mike, or did it step out on you? <laughs> uh, stepped out on me. I hit the curve a little hard. I was going to let you pass if you went for a move, but... <laughs> Josiah Jerome and a Josiah Jerome and a probably quite angry after race one Johnny Major no 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 someone already got past me at Varianti Alta I ain't help that it's not happening again sorry sorry Josiah I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the uh, the elbows out on that one Just been falling back all day long. Ruining the high of that good first race here. This race number two. But uh, what can you do? It's not like people have been cheating or, you know, behaving untowards. Yellow flag out. And, oh no, it's Rick! Rick Martell, my buddy. My teammate from another team. <laughs> well, now I'm doing the other half of my teamly duties here. Buying Wayne some time. Putting up a fight on Josiah and Johnny. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just, uh, just taking the racing line and doing my thing. Do 
which is always my thing. If you if you can go around me when I'm on the racing line, I'm not really going to be able to keep you behind me. That's my motto. And one would think both of them can, because Josiah is you know always fast. Johnny seems to have a a hot hand today. Very disappointed in my lap times, though. That was maybe a little. Sorry, Johnny. I think that was a little cheeky by no me. Problem. Do I see what's going on in front of you? It was a little cheeky, probably by both of us, to be honest. Mike might see the uh, stewards' table for that. We'll see. Not gonna report it myself because he didn't get the spot. It means he's probably wouldn't get a penalty anyways. But uh, Josiah might uh, might send Show me off. to the jacks table. Oh, little mistake there. Stop mills in this group too. Finally coming back towards top ten. Flashing headlights don't work on me. You want to get past, get past. There ain't no blue flag. As long as I'm not blocking, you've got no grounds to be angry. I think he's got me this time, though. Well, it broke early. Okay. I think had he gone for it, he would have got it, but... Okay. Then again, he is carrying, like, 40-plus kilos of ballast, so... That might be playing a role. <laughs> Here comes the HMS Flying Dutchman. Probably only one more lap. Uh, well, I would say definitely one more lap unless the gap between me and the leader is huge. So I might be able, might be able to hold this. Oh, mistake by Josiah. Sorry, John. Finally pulled a decent lap out as well. This is going to be a 44 something. There we go. 44. 44 6. Nice. That I'm a little salty about. Uh, I have to let it gelly through. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look at the replay. I'm plenty mad about it right now, but um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm making a point to not get too, too mad about things unless it's, unless it's like really obvious. ACC Barcelona. 
Uh, James Butler rear-ending me, being a great example. That one was side-by-side -side contact. I'll have to see where the overlaps were. But with me being on the inside, I don't know where I could have gone off the top of my head. But So, definitely worth a look. But, uh... Not that it... Not that it matters, Mike Stopmill is, of course, way the frig ahead, so. Any penalty found is uh, not doing much. Oh, overtake Douglas. It's Hebert. over. And we lost Guillermo before the end. Interesting. He was out front. Well, 11th place is not terrible, but, um, see, you wouldn't do that in real life. That would be very, very expensive. <laughs> um, who won anyways? I didn't catch who won at this race. So, um, uh, disappointing. That should have probably been a top 10... I think, but could be wrong. See how it, we'll see how that see how that plays out championship wise at this point. Ooh, excuse me. So I don't know. Might have a report there for Stop Mill. Uh, might be worth looking at if I uh, threw out the uh, the closed door on um, on uh, Josiah Jerome. Possible. Maybe. We'll see. If he wants to take it to the stewards, he is, of course, welcome. Oh, it was Dan Bach. So, Dan Bach, Mike well, Jeffries, job, everyone. Liam Curtin, Cole McRae, Simeon Naku, your top Jeez, five. Jeez, you go off the track at all, you're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. This game is done. 